I do a lot of uh, public speaking, and I will say that a good 70% of people will come to me and go, well, homeless people want to be homeless. Um, they don't want to get a job. You know, the, the, all the stereotypical stuff. And then here's your interview. Here's, here's, you. here's your story. And, and, and your story is exactly the complete opposite of what all the stereotype is. And I want, I want people that are watching this and listen to the podcast to know that your story is probably more so than the opposite, the stereotypical, uh, they just want, they're just bums and don't want to get a job because it's, it's hard, you know, it's really hard. I, I do want to ask though. Um, I am so sorry when you said that. I remember being, I'm sorry. It's okay. There's really touch on what you just said because um, I remember being pregnant. Um, my son was probably a year and eight months. Mm -hmm. And there was my partner and then I was sitting around breakfast. Somebody came and started saying stuff to us. And I show up pregnant. And they started calling us the F word bumps. And mm. then, you know, it's like all of these things. And then, you know, they saw me pregnant, so it got even worse. I was think, oh, maybe, you know, if they see I'm pregnant, they'll kind of stop. But it got even worse, you know? So, um, sorry, it's like, oh, I'm not going to cry. I can talk about this. But um, it just, you know, the whole t thing is like more personal when it comes, when they talk to you like that about your kids, you know? Um, when they have your kids calling, somebody's calling your kids a bum, you know, and, and they have no fault at it. Um, but yes, and then to be honest, I haven't even, even gotten paid my next paycheck on the first and I already spent it. It's going to go for rent. So right now I'm doing Uber Eats to survive for those two weeks. I don't have an income because my previous paycheck, it had to go for other bills. So my pg and &E bill is $500 now. <laughs> so, and then I have the rent and everything. So I'm trying to really survive, you know? So right now it's like my partner, I know he's in a lot of pain right now and he wants to do whatever he can with the kids. And, um, and then right now it's like, just please keep him alive. That's it. <laughs> you know, and I know he wants to do more and help, but then um, they, the doctor did tell him that he cannot go back to do his delivery FedEx job or he'll end up in a wheelchair. He needs surgery eventually. Okay. So, um, He's like trying to go back to school. And I was like, he doesn't like school, by the way. But then um, he's trying to see what he can get online to, to start getting a, another kind of not so physical work. And then, so for me, it's just one of those things that I don't see myself as a victim, but like a warrior. You know, it's one of those things sure. that, okay, yes, I know I don't have income, what can I do? You know, so, okay, I can do Uber Eats, it's flexible. You sure. know, I can do that and try to spend time with my kids. So. So they're not stuck in the house all the time, try to pre-make um, healthy meals, you know, and do all of these other things. So, yes, it's not like we want to be in this situation. It just so, happens. So, wow. <laughs> I did not realize that we were going to go into this direction. Sorry. I no, am no, so no, sorry. No, 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 no. But you just said that thing that people, I, it's no, true absolutely that they not, were <laughs> I want to say something right now that anybody who's watching you and hearing this, because yes. um, we do it both. We do a video. Oh, okay. So on YouTube, and then we do a podcast, which is all audio. Um, but I'm going to say something I've never said in any of my interviews. <laughs> I, I'm right now, um, people don't see my face, but most people know me. Um, <laughs> you heard what this woman just said, folks. I'm challenging the church to step up right now. And anybody who watches this or hears this to help support you. Oh, thank you. So, so if there's any way that you can step up and help write a check or send a donation to the ministry, so we can help support this family, um, I've never done. I've this is not something I normally do. I don't turn my podcast into a donation thing. And but, I actually um, feel I want, bad. I want to. I want to help support you. So that I'm going to write you a check today. Um, I'm to help support you and your um, your your partner. Um, but I'm oh, also you. I'm also challenging anybody who hears this. I even feel uh, bad about the, this, but thank no, you no, so no, no. much. You're 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 obviously somebody who works hard, and you believe you don't take handouts, and you really try to make your own way. But you guys need support, and so thank I'm you. gonna I'm gonna help. The ministry is gonna help support you, well, and I you. want I want people that hear this and watch this also to send some donations in. And what are what are some things that your uh, your partner do? What can what are some of the things that he can do that are not physical? So just so my audience can mm -hmm. hear. So if they have something available, maybe they can start working with him on that. Yes. Um, 
he he doesn't say this, but I know he's very good with numbers. Okay. <laughs> and then um, he's he likes the mechanic kind of stuff. So I told him maybe some light work and lawyer change maybe, but right now that's physical too. So he can he can barely walk. And um, I'm trying to think. I you know it's just very hard because okay. he's all he's like he's been doing all of this kind of physical work. So it's now we're trying to see if we can reshift that mm -hmm. um, to more like of a mental work kind of thing, you know, like in an office or something. But it, it